What's up guys, it's AJ Markle here. Welcome to episode number one of Backyard Baseball 2007 Season Mode. Now, I'm gonna sh I'm here showing a line. I'm gonna quickly show right here. I have Ichido, Pete Wheeler, Albert Pujols, Akpik Gan, Joey McAdoo, Eric Chavez, Miguel Tejada, Vladimir Guerrero, and Juan Santana. Now, I think I'm just gonna slowly move girl to the sixth spot real quick. There we go. All right. Let's get to our first game. Welcome to the first game of the Rangers season at Backyard Baseball. We are playing the, uh, whoever those guys are, I think they're the Monsters. So, Marky the Boy is leading off again. So, we have to face them. And as of right now, though, he is definitely not the same goofy guy. In the original Backyard Baseball, he had this, he used to wear overalls and everything, kind of like a, because he did living the farm but in this one they kind of made a more suburban style so that's how it works and now he's got two strikes in this game though like i said in my season one this game um might not show it because you know green screen but um in this game you can actually have numbers that's a deep fly ball to right field leading off and that is over the head of Guerrero for a leadoff home run okay now this is where they introduce custom players vera schneer She's a, uh, this is going to be a good interesting one. And she popped it up and playable. Akmakan will make the catch for the first out. So that's a catch. Shane Smith is at the plate. Shane Smith is leading off. No, no, he's the third in the lineup. The, the first pitch is a strike one. 46 mile an hour fastball. In backyard base, this is backyard baseball, so, so you're not going to throw like 90 miles an hour. But it does show some realism of how kids can actually throw the baseball. There's the 0 and 2. He hits a live fly ball. Miguel Tejada makes the sensational catch for the second out. So that, and now we have two outs. And here is Liz Kinghorn. Kinghorn. And Kinghorn is uh, going to try to get a hit herself. That's fouled off to the right. I think they expected a change up on that one. Just give him something like a curveball. Crowded to the second baseman, Joey McAdoo, for the third out. That's the third out. We will go to the bottom of the first. It's a three-inning game, and E. Tito will be leading off. I put E. Tito at center because he is a not a very powerful here, but he also is a very fast guy. I know power hitting has nothing to do with it, but it's kind of an advantage whenever uh, you... Uh, have a lot of speed in the outfield so that's why i put a bad right and boing spring fever and he's just so fat he just might be oh up uh, taken out slid he slid but they tied before he got down there's pete wheeler he uh pete wheeler used to be the uh kind of the uh, guy that didn't really know much about sports but he has since improved since then Let's hope we could make up for it with some good speed on the base pass. There's a fly ball to right, playable, and that is dropped! Up, oh, back, back, never mind, and out. Dang it. Okay, that's not good. So we got guys that got hits, but we got taken out trying to slide in the second. So now there's uh, two outs because of our base running miscues. There is the pitch. High fly ball! Deep to left field, and that game is tied. A home run off the roof, but Joey McAdoo's home. So that makes it, it's a tie game. Look at this guy, look at the replay. That one was gone. And now here's Akmekan. Okay, so Akmekan is up. Let's see what he can do here. Bowed off to the back. So he hits a foul ball to the back sides. And here is the pitch. High fly ball deep into right center field. That ball is playable. And that is just, that's a double. They called it a ground rule double because I think it hit the uh, unknown ground double. There's Joey McAdoo. By the way, this is his baseball field backyard. So this is why he's going to like this field. So he... All right, he's going to be patient. We're not going to do power. We're going to do line drive and whoosh. So there's a bit about Joey. I learned this a while ago, a long time ago. Don't put him as leadoff and do not put him as a bottom. Put him like in the middle where he could shine and not be as pressured. So I think we call time and we can let's relax a bit. 
And there's the pitch. Ah, it's making a mess. Okay, struck out the end of the inning, but we are ahead. Not. We are not ahead. We are tied. Stacy Gooden is at the plate. Stacy Gooden. There's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Stacy Gooden swinging and missing right here, and she's probably going to want to get the hit. And she swung and missed on the screwball, which is basically a backwards curveball in this game. And here comes the 0 and 2 pitch. Grounded, base hit to left field. Pete Wheel we will th quickly throw it in, and that's a leadoff single in the second. And now we got runner up first. And here's Sandy Mouse, Sandy Mouse, Sandy Mouse. Uh oh. Do I sense an opportunity for this? And picked off. She's out of there. That was that's how we that's a good way to start. Picked off. Swing and a miss. Santana's trying to calm down after giving up a leadoff home run earlier in the game. But he made up for it by slowing down the rest of their hitters. Here comes the 0-2. And that is way inside. 1 and 2. Here comes the 1 2 pitch. And popped it. Fly ball. Center field. Ichido underneath this one. And he dropped it. Why was I not surprised? So they, so it's an error on Ichido for that miscue. And now it is a runner on first. And once again, there are, there is one out. And there's the pickoff play. Say barely. Because they apparently have more aggression. I have to keep an eye on the runner though. Because they might try to do something funny. They try to steal. And that is 0-1. Let's try to be settled down a little bit. And let's put the infield to double play ball real quick after doing our pickoff play. Oh, barely got back. So this must be a fast runner, so I have to be quick on my toes if I get a ball right where I want it. There's a ground ball. Dolly to short Tejada, and who's pick Dolly picks it off. Double play. And that is how you end the top of the second. And this game is still time. Each team has one error each. There's Eric Chavez. Eric Chavez is up, and he is playing third base for us. He's a very interesting third base. And now there's the pitch. We got power up right here. That power up's helping when you get raise the bar. Uh oh, that is a. We're gonna try for a second. It's gonna be a close play if he gets there, and he will get there. Chavez is now the go-ahead run on second base, leading off in the bottom of the second. That's a good message. Miguel heard Ario. A Baltimore Oreos. Yep. Miguel used to be a very well-liked guy, but then he was caught doing stuff he wasn't supposed to do. That's why he lost credibility. Uh-oh, that is deep into right center field. That's going to be... Uh-oh. That's a catch. It's going to be close play a second. And just slice back and double play. That is what we want to do. And now Vladimir Guerrero is up. Vladimir Guerrero is the type of guy that will hit anything anywhere. So don't underestimate him. Otherwise, you're going to see a pitch go right out of the parking crash. 77 on our foul ball. Yikes. Let's try. All right, let's try that again. And ground, it's a ground into the first baseman. That is out. Ooh. And since there are extra innings, we might, it might end in a walk-up for us if we go our way. There's Roof Prout. Roof Prout is leading off. So we got to face... We still have to face Marky DeBoy, though, who hit a solo home run last time up, so we have to be extra careful with him. Now, let's see the screwball. Let's get it away. Oh, wait. That was not what I wanted to do. So, that was a bad, that was a bad pitch. And they go in. Let's see if they like in something inside. Swing and a miss. One and two from Santana. There is the one and two. Swing and a miss. She done. She done. And, and now here's Isaac Hamid. This is definitely one of those days. And I'm just making sure the team is ready to normal. Case to, and there's a high fly ball to right. Guerrero underneath this one. And he makes the easy catch. Two outs in the top of the third. And Marky the boy is up. We got to be careful with him. He had a solo home run last time up. And... Gave the his team the early lead. I do not want to do that. Give him up another hit. Let's try to be let's try to be cautious with him. Swoosh! He's swinging at anything close. So that was a low fastball. 
All right, let's give him an instant to take part of the play, and yikes. All right, since he's gonna swing at anything, I'm gonna get in this pitch. I call this the curve. Ooh! He was not wanting to swing at that. And the pitch, grounded foul. Let's see if we can handle this high curve. And grounded foul again. I think he was trying to go for a home run. And the Bears do one, two. He pops it up, playable. Chavez underneath this one. And caught. That is the third out. We are going to the bottom of the third for a massive walk-off opportunity here. Santana's leading off, though, so he... So he... It might be a little hard, though. We might go in extras if we don't get our team to... Uh, oh, it's a popcorn butt, but we got... Let's be careful with that one. We'll save that for later. That's a line drive. Foul. And I hit the clothing line. So that's a... That's a 0-1-1. Let's try this again. Fouled away again. Swung a little late. 0-2-1 Santana. The pitch. And he pops it up in the air. And caught by the catcher. Okay, so they got the first out. Now Itudo 0-1. Let's see if we could... He can make up for it by getting a good hit. Right where... Right where we need it to. Need. So... Let's time. Let's do a popcorn bunt. And the pitch, popcorn bunt. And Ichiro will get on there with a single, a single for Ichiro. And he. And now there's Pete Wheeler. He's gotta be fast though. Oh, by the way, apparently what I'm learning here in this game, if you get a hit but you get tagged out, they don't count as a hit in this game. That's how. That's a easy way to get a no hitter, which is well, even though it's not realistic. Line drive into the gap. That will be a base hit. And that's going to be trouble. Ichiro running. Ichiro's a fast runner. So it's going to be a... So he's going to call. They're going to wave him. Ichiro's coming all the way around. And that is the ball game. A walk-off triple to end the game. So we had a walk-off on opening day. That's a good way to end this year game. Thank you for watching. If you guys want to see more, just comment below. And also tell me your favorite backyard sports game. Maybe some old school ones. I'll see you next time. God bless you, Rock. Don't forget it.